She's back. She's back. She's not in her guest room though because I decided to do a complete overhaul of the guest room. Why, you may ask, that's a fabulous question that I don't know the answer to. Um, so here we are in my living room. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel today we have a January favorites video I have been very intentional about when I love something this month I was saving it in the notes on my phone so that I didn't forget because sometimes I feel like with monthly favorites the months just go by so fast and I forget like little tiny things that I've tried and liked over the last couple weeks but not this month and I have quite a few things for you before we actually get into the video I I, I don't even want to put this out to the universe but I have not been getting a ton of of hate comments lately like less than normal which has been like amazing for my mental health but i did get one comment um the last not this vlog video but the one before and this girl was like you need to go back to what your roots are which is fitness and nutrition your channel has become a shopping channel make a second channel for that and i'm just like you make a second channel you make a youtube channel like what what Ugh. if it's one thing the haters have it's the audacity <laughs> and i'm not trying to like give them attention but just for the sake of i'm about to do a favorites video with things i purchased with things i've already had i like to buy things and try them and review them it's something I've always done, sometimes in fitness, sometimes not in fitness, and I just really like doing it. I like testing new products, whether that be beauty, clothing, techie stuff, lenses, whatever. Like, I just enjoy trying new products and letting you guys know how I like them. I've talked about this briefly a couple of times on my channel, and I do not make a living from YouTube or Instagram. Not even close, not even enough to pay my car payment, okay? This is something that I do because I enjoy, and I like sharing these things with you. It's nothing that like I want to end up feeling forced to do, which is a lot of the reason why the last couple of weeks I haven't been doing a Thursday video because there's a lot of things on my plate with school, with the dogs, with keeping up with everything, my actual job. So I decided to, instead of doing two videos a week that might've felt forced, I decided to switch it to one video a week that I actually can put time and effort into and that I actually like to film. And I feel like myself as a YouTube viewer, like I can tell when somebody is burnt out on YouTube and they don't wanna make videos anymore. And I don't wanna be that way. I've always been honest with you about that on my channel when I just, I'm not really feeling it, whether that be like motivation in the gym or not. And I just want to do things that I like to do. And I appreciate those of you so much who have commented in the past about being willing to stay around no matter what the topic is on my channel. And I love that, you know, because I'm not just a fitness person. There's a lot more to me than fitness and food. And I like a wide variety of things. I've talked about this plenty of times and I'm not gonna stop talking about a wide variety of things just because it doesn't appease to a small group of people. So bleh, with that being said, I wanna share with you some of my favorite things of the month and you guessed it, they're all over the place. I have a couple fitness, a couple beauty, a couple just all over and they're in no particular order. I'm gonna grab the things that I have out here on my counter because uh, I don't have anything in my guest room to film right now. So here we go, shutting up, let's get into the favorites. Okay, to start, two things I don't physically have on hand. One, because it's an app, and if you watch my Sunday snowy vlog last week, I talked about this app called the Focus To Do app, and I really wanna mention it again, not sponsored whatsoever. I just, I paid for it to upgrade to premium this past week and I really like it. I like how you can see the trends of how you're working over the week. It helps me honestly just stay really on track when I'm trying to sit down at my desk and not get distracted by anything else and just do my work. If you're somebody who gets easily distracted or you tend to try to do a lot of things at once, this is so helpful. So it's basically just the Pomodoro method where you work for 20 or 25 minutes, take a break for five, but it like alerts you on your computer and you can see the little countdown like in the top right hand corner. It's just helpful for me, I like it. A lot of you said you enjoyed it when I mentioned it on my video last week, so in case you didn't see that, I'm telling you now, it's called Focus To Do. Second thing is this alarm clock, which is called Hatch Restore. I purchased a cheap knockoff version that I saw on TikTok. 
I hated it. The app interface was awful. It didn't work. It took like 35 minutes just to even update the app. It ended up needing to be on like a 2.0 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi instead of 2.2. It was just like very weird for $30. It was way too complicated. So I upgraded to the Hatch Restore as of your guys' recommendations and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to open the app really quick to show you because I love this. If you're not familiar, it is an alarm clock basically that wakes you up with natural sunrise colors. It's really cool. It's like a little guy that sits on your nightstand. It's really minimalistic looking. And when you go into the app, you can set up basically different, there you go. You can set up different things for it to do in order. So when you tap the top button on your alarm clock, it starts your schedule basically. So I have this really pretty red sunlight. It's not really sunlight. It's kind of like a sunset that I have. That's my first step in my wind down and that goes on for 10 minutes. So I do that while I'm like brushing my teeth or my skincare or whatever. And then after 10 minutes, it goes into a sleep meditation that you can choose from like a ton of different things. You can make this as customizable as you want. Rain sounds, ocean sounds, music. I mean, there's so many things on here. I just chose the meditation first. So then when I'm ready to go to sleep, it does the meditation. You don't have to like touch anything. The second you hit the top button, it goes into your schedule. So I do a 20 minute meditation, which I usually fall asleep during anyway. And then it goes into the heavy rain sounds. So after that, the rain sounds. And the cool thing I have on here is if I wake up, like when Austin gets up for work, it wakes me up and I have a hard time falling back asleep. I can hit the top button again, which will then skip to another meditation. That's a fall back to sleep meditation. And then the rain sounds again. So you can really set it up for however you want it. And it's so user friendly. And the coolest part though, so I set my alarm, the sound portion to be at seven o'clock, but at 630, the little sun lamp guy starts at like a really pretty dark orangish red color. And then over the course of 30 minutes, it starts to rise and turn brighter into like natural sunlight. Number one, I did not realize how much I would miss the sun living here in Iowa, especially early in the morning. Like I remember waking up to the sun in Florida and I can't even tell you like the last time I saw the sun at seven o'clock in the morning here, maybe like last summer. It's really sad to wake up in pitch darkness when it's 7 a.m. and you're like, what time is it? I feel like it's three in the morning, it's seven and it's dark and two degrees and it's just like not cute. So anyways, the sunlight, the way that it wakes you up is so nice and it's such a peaceful way to wake up. There is nothing, nothing that irritates me more than that stupid <laughs> sound that the Apple iPhones make when you set alarms. No matter what one it is, I hate them all and I just don't use them. I just wake up naturally, but this is a nice way to kind of keep me on a good schedule and help my sleep routine. That was a whole lot of information about this hatch thing, but I just really love it. I bought mine off of Amazon. I got some stuff from Sephora. Oh, shh. Okay, let's talk about some hair care. Okay, because when I talked about removing my extensions, and doing some stuff to take care of my hair. A lot of you were interested, so I'm gonna tell you some things I've added to my regime, if you will, kind of like beauty slash hair. Okay, so first up, I haven't even opened this yet because I went through the entire one already. This is my second one. This is the Kerastase Nutritive Mask Magistral. All of their stuff is in French, I think, so I don't even know, but it is the most intense hydrating mask of all time. Went out and purchased a lot of things from Kerastase because I used to use them like way back in the day and I don't know really why I got away from them and I just felt like I needed to switch things up after taking my extensions out so I did and then the other things are in my shower so I'm just going to show you this. This is the restorative um for extremely damaged hair line. So all of this like teal blue color, I got the shampoo, the conditioner, and the serum. And number one, not only does it smell amazing, but number two, the shine and the like, just such smoothness without weighing my hair down that I get from this is amazing. And I was like, why did I ever stop using it? So I really, really like that. And I also just recently got their refreshing dry shampoo with rice starch, which is supposed to be really good for your hair. I just haven't tried this yet. So, fragrance is a little, it's a little floral for my liking, but their quality is just so good. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. So that's kind of the things I've been doing for my hair. I have a couple of other things on my list to try. Haven't gotten around to them yet, so I can't really uh, consider them a favorite. Next up, we have an Anastasia product. This is 
in my opinion, late to the game because fluffed up, stuck, waxy brows have been all the rage the last couple of months. So Anastasia finally jumped on the bandwagon with this clear wax pomade. It's super sticky. And the way that she says to use it is put a little bit on the back of your hand, dip your spoolie in it, and then stick it in your brows. And I do have it on my brows today, but I don't really have a lot of brow hair in general. So... I don't really get the full like fluffed up look, but in terms of holding your brows, this is legit. A good dupe for this for a much more affordable option would be the NYX Brow Glue, but that has also been a TikTok trend as of late and it has been sold out every single place I've gone. So as even online. So that's why I decided to go with the Anastasia one and honestly, she never lets me down. Last up on the beauty is the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the color happy, which is really cute. I'm going to show you up close what it looks like on the little brush here. And okay, I have it on right now. Now granted, I don't have any like special lighting. The snow is just so bright out there that I didn't feel like I needed it, but I have it on. And for those of you who like a very natural, glowy, dewy look, this is absolutely amazing. But beware, you need the smallest, smallest amount of product because it is so pigmented. So, I mean, it's easy to blend, but if you put too much, like you're doomed. So I put the smallest little dot here and here, and then I use a beauty blender to blend it upwards onto like my upper cheekbone and into my temple. And it's just like, I don't know, it's so nice, it's so comfortable, and it lasts a really long time. I never thought that I would be a liquid blush kind of gal, but I absolutely love it, and I've been really pleasantly surprised as a whole with all of her products from Rare Beauty. Okay, like this is kind of a beauty thing, but um, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. I have been testing out the Lashify game. I am late to the Lashify game. I know they are just like, the new thing ever since lash extensions were no more. And I got lash extensions for a hot minute, like two and a half years ago, didn't love them. And I felt super bald in my eyelashes when I took them off. Common problem that a lot of girls have once they do that. So Lashify is essentially, I'm gonna show you a couple different ones that I've got so far. And if you would like to see a more in-depth video about this, definitely let me know in the comments below. But I haven't gotten to the point of feeling comfortable enough yet to do a full tutorial video, so keep that in mind, I'm still learning. These are the Lashify lashes, and if you saw in my Beauty Get Ready With Me video, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, I was using the Kiss ones, and you put them underneath your lash line, and Kiss Ones and these other brands are basically like the cheaper version of the Lashify lashes. The website is overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. It took me a little while to figure out what I actually needed, but if you're looking to get started with Lashify, I'm gonna tell you my favorites. Unfortunately, you do really need this guy. It's ridiculous, I think it's like 60 some dollars for this little thing, but when you put it on your lashes, I have them on right now, let me get up close so you can see. These are FX14 and they are so comfortable. Like, I cannot feel that they're on. Now that I know how to put them on somewhat correctly, I love them. And this little thing, once you put them on, you squeeze to fuse your lashes with the Lashify lashes, and it definitely works. So I would recommend getting the starter kits, which comes with like the box, this little tweezer thing, and then the Whisper Light Bond and the Whisper Light Glue. So I have the double-ended one, with the mascara on one side, the glue on the other, which just looks like this. So basically, long story short, you put the mascara on your natural lashes, let it get tacky, you put a couple of dots of this on the underside of your lashes, the glue, let that get tacky, and then you take these little clusters, I'm gonna show you one up close with the um, little holder. You take these little clusters and you put them underneath your lash line. It's really easy to do just like the Kiss lashes. If you didn't see that video, I'll link it so you can take a peep and you put them underneath and then you clamp them with this and then you use the sealing bond, which is just a clear glass and they can last for me about five days. I'm working out with them, I'm sleeping with them, and I think that's pretty impressive. The Kiss Lashes did not last more than a day, although much less expensive. Uh, for me, I'm kind of a quality over quantity, 
and I would rather buy like one set of Lashify lashes for more than have to keep rebuying the Kiss lashes. So in my opinion, I think it's worth it. I've been wearing them this entire month, testing out a couple different ones, but so far my favorite ones that I've tried are these FX14 ones and the E14. I feel like 14 is a really good length for me. So the, the letter in the front is for like the different styles. So like FX is like fluffy volume, E is extreme, D is D curl, whatever. But I just like the fluffiness and 16 is too long, 14 is perfect for me and I put 14 all the way up until the inner corner and then I put 12s on the inner corner. So I don't know, I think it's fun. It's a new thing I've been trying. It's just one of those things, you know? It's like I didn't think I was gonna like it, loved it, and here we are. Now I have a little bowl full of lashes and all these little tools. So moving on, we're going into the health category here. However, I have used all of these. So I used these the entire month of January, this um, I've talked about before on favorites videos because it is it is the goat, okay? These are the Tula Skincare Probiotics and Healthy Hair, Skin, and Nails Vitamins. They're gummies, so they taste good. I personally have never seen probiotics and hair, skin, and nail vitamins combined, let alone in a gummy that tastes good. So these have vitamin C, folate, biotin, and then a berry antioxidant blend and then two strains of prebiotic and probiotic, which is really cool, like killing two birds with one stone, right? I love that, and you know I love my Tula products. Speaking of Tula, we have one more new product of the month of January, and I love these. I feel like every single time I've thought about like, oh, I wish Tula would come out with that, they literally do the next month, so I'm not mad about it. But these are the Balancing Act Purifying and pH Balancing Toner Pads. And for somebody that works out a lot, these are amazing. Number one, they are biodegradable, so they do not harm the environment, unlike traditional makeup wipes. I used to be somebody who after the gym, because I didn't wanna wash my face like three times a day and strip it, I used to just use makeup wipes to wipe my face after a workout before I would shower, right? So then I just like stopped using makeup wipes and I would just end up washing my face. But then Tula came out with these and these are amazing. Number one, they are not drying. For balancing, pH balancing, whatever the heck they put in these, they're phenomenal. They do not tingle, they don't pull at your skin. And most importantly for me, because I have really dry skin, whenever I've used like the toner pads, they typically have like some form of acid or um, benzoyl peroxide or something like that in them. So it's really drying. And if I've ever used them in the past, the second I wipe my face with them, my face feels like like so tight that I can't move it. That is not the case with these. And by far, these are my favorite, most gentle cleansing pads, but also toning pads that I've ever used. Because when I do wipe with these, even after washing my face, it will still get off any leftover dirt that's on my face. So these are amazing. They're new line. Like they're just really... I've been with Tula since 2015, okay? So that should tell you how much I love the company as a whole, but they really always work to make things better and don't just like stick to what they know. They stick to what they know to in a sense because like they're doing skincare, but I mean like they're always trying to evolve and come out with different things to appease different like skin needs, you know what I mean? So I really love that. Let's uh, mention two fitness things that I have. A lot of you are actually asking about these bad boys on my Instagram and these are the Innovate Graphene, Graphene Grip Shoes. The reason why I love these <laughs> which actually could be a favorite in its own, the Peloton app. By the way, as a side note, Peloton has two months free for new members right now on the app. And I know a lot of people were asking like, do you need to have a Peloton to do some of the workouts? And the answer is no. You, I use a regular old treadmill when I do the Peloton tread boot camps. And although I have the bike, you can still do yoga, meditation, stretching, strength, and regular body weight cardio on the app. No, I am not sponsored by Peloton. I wish that'd be freaking cool. I paid for that with my own money as well as the subscription every month. And I just really like it. I think for those of us who are stuck at home and needing a little bit of like a change in pace, I would definitely recommend checking that out. But the reason, Speaking of that, the reason I love these shoes is because when I do the treadmill boot camps or the bike boot camps, we need, not the tread, but the bike specifically, you need to switch in between your Peloton bike shoes and like training shoes. These are so great because the tongue of the shoe is attached to the rest of the shoe. So once I tie it, I can literally just slip these on and off and they are so comfortable, but they also are like really supportive. They're kind of, 
I would say a mix between the Reebok Nanos and the new Nike Mekons, but more flexible. They're not as wide as the Reebok Nanos, but they're also not as narrow as the Nike. So kind of like an in-between. I used to have Innovates back in the day. I don't know why I like stopped purchasing them, but I just really like these. They're just like super clean, easy, on and off, and I think they're a great all-around training shoe. Then, I'm gonna mention something that's crazy, crazy, crazy. And you know I'm telling the truth, because look at this, that's all that's left. I don't wanna spill it, but that little bit is all that's left in here. And this is a first for Manders, okay? Pre-workout. I know. I've never taken pre-workout. I've never liked to take pre-workout. I've never found a pre-workout that didn't hurt my stomach. However, of course, as with anything with Driven, I have never, ever, ever tried a Driven product that hurt my stomach to this day. And this actually came in a sample pack when I purchased my nighttime pills that I take, the R&R. &R. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a try. The flavor is cherry lime for time, which is cute. And it mixes really well. I've been doing it old school, you guys. I've been doing a dry scoop. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why. A little water in your mouth, do a scoop do it up. Not to the point where like I notice a huge difference. I don't think that you should rely on something like that to get you to work out. For me, it's kind of more of like a, okay, I'm freezing cold at home, don't really wanna work out, especially in the later like afternoon times. So this is kind of something that helps me kind of like get in the mood to do it. So it's got beta alanine, L-taurine, vitamin C, L-citrulline and then 200 milligrams of caffeine and it's just doesn't bother my stomach So that's most important with anything I take I will not take anything that upsets it especially like during a workout You know, I don't want to feel like sloshing around in my stomach. Okay The puffs I don't have the puffs because I ate them all. Oh my gosh So a couple of food things that I want to talk about one is the new built bar puffs They are like little marshmallow puffs. They use collagen protein powder to make these I didn't like the vanilla ones, but the coconut and strawberry were definitely really freaking good. And the consistency is even better than traditional Bilt Bars. It was 100% like an actual marshmallow to where you could like pull it apart. So freaking cool, loved them, can't wait to order more. Highly recommend you getting them if you haven't tried any of the Bilt Bars. But if you haven't tried Bilt Bars, you gotta try them. Like seriously, the best consistency, taste, and ingredients wise protein bar I've ever tried. And then two things I've been changing up lately with my chicken, this is super weird, but I wanna mention it because you guys know I'm the queen of chicken thighs, but lately I have been using panko breadcrumbs and chicken tenderloins to make like little chicken strips. And I've been pairing it with the Alexia seasoned waffle fries, which inspired me, I'm going to make a video soon, uh, to do like a at home, Chick-fil-A copycat meal. I'm so excited to do this because these Alexia seasoned waffle fries, fantastic. You need to try them. I got them at Fresh Time, but I believe they also have them at Target. So stinking good. So stay tuned for that because I'm really excited for that video. And then last but not least is just a random show that Austin and I started watching on Amazon Prime because it's actually on regular TV right now. So every week they add a new episode and it is called Big Sky. And it's kind of like a thriller, murder, like twist and turn kind of show. But if you're somebody who likes Criminal Minds, you, um, any type of like murdery shows like that that are also like not cheesy, I kind of felt like you was a little cheesy, you know, but I still watch it anyway. Any of those type of like thrilling shows, you will really like this, highly recommend. And again, you can get that on Amazon Prime. So that is all of the things that I have tried in the month of January. As always, if you have anything that you think I would like, leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe so you never miss a Monday not Thursdays right now, but Monday with Manders. And that's all for this favorites video. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.